Hey guys, welcome. This is me, Triple Two Charo. You're on Girl TM, and I'm back with another reading. So this is like a real talk with you guys, okay? Because I can't meet you guys in obviously real, but this is the medium that I can talk to you guys. So this is like a talk with me. So I'm go I'm gonna starting you know like new session on my YouTube channel. This will be a like real talk, talk with me, talk with Triple Two Charo. So real talk with me, the things that I experience, the things that I have knowledge about, the thing I have wisdom about, you can say, the my spiritual abilities, my gifts, God-given gifts, and um, my, my intuitive and uh, empathetic um, abilities and skills that I can tell you, the knowledge I can share with you. So this is what I recently did the reading for Twin Flame and Soulmates and I definitely, um, definitely, you know, share a lot of things, um, you know, like a little bit about my story. And also I told you that what is the differences of relationship like Twin Flame, Soulmate um, and Karmic and uh, the soul connections. Basically, I talk about this. So a lot of people now, uh, I just read that you really wanted to know more about these relationships. And there's uh, some questions that everybody goes through. OK, like this is like a common questions frequently asked question that everyone wants to know about these connections and um, they want clarity on it and they want uh, you know they want to know that basically these questions that I will ask today and I will give you the answers of these the frequently asked questions uh, that you really want that everybody in their mind when they are on their soul journey are they are in the soul connection so they want to know it because I am on this journey okay and uh, I know that how it feels like I know how to progress I know how to meditate I know how to um, everything I will tell you today that what the topics and points are here the very important topics in the when you are on the soul journey you are you know by yourself it does not matter um, that does not need to be like you are in a soul journey with your your soulmate or your twin flame some people's are too much emotional or sensitive or they could be too much you know gone through they just they they just escape themselves from these spiritual journeys because they feel like they have something that they can be they can heal themselves and they can heal other people they could be healer light worker they could be um life coach they could be um the, the you you know so first of all i want to tell you that you saw first of all i want to clear thing here is that whatever i'm telling you or whatever i am you know sharing with you guys this is my own experience okay because i am the believer of uh, you know i will not like go on to you know um googles and search on this and things and watching the youtube videos yeah they they definitely there is a very genuine and real people they experience they share they share their experience but others of people's like they just don't know it you know they could be in the journey they could be still in the process so definitely a lot of things and uh, obviously a lot of conflict then come into everyone's mind so i will definitely tell you because of my experience that what i experience and what my clients experienced and they come to me and what advice i give to them okay and what i will because my soul journey and my soul mission is that you need to first know that who you are who you are, what you are, and where you stand, what is self-love for you. Because you, you can hear all the peoples and re readers and talkers and, you know, life coaching or everything. They will tell you self-love, 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 self-love. This is not like you're going into the mirror and watching you're just, you know, buying a expensive cloth and you're, you're wearing expensive cloths and you're just like, wow, now I can be, um, I'm looking good, I'm having good. No, this is not. Self-love is not like you're, when you're feel you know, when you're not just seeing these things, you know, you need to get in this, uh, because this could be some people just, you know, believe in these things. First of all, I have to tell you here that the people who are on the soul journey, right? So I'm sorry if I did something, you know, you know, I just crossed the path here because I will I'm, there's a lot of knowledge and those, there's a lot of things <clears throat> coming in my mind and I want to show it and I want to express it okay so I'm sorry before I, I've started okay and also the people who just talk about that okay I don't speak and something this is not my native language okay and uh, so yeah so you can hate me for that but no so still um, I'm talking about like here um, the people who are on the soul journey okay um, 
they definitely have something in spiritual in them okay they they definitely are natural born spiritual are they come they become after spiritual because when something happened with them right some type of really bad or you can say that experience in their life that they experience something very bad very toxic very unhealthy very um mentally emotionally or physically abusive that they gone through or they could be gone through in some type of process like this could be you know some type of toxicity from their surrounding toxicity from their you know um narcissistic peoples around them like you know very controlling very dominating peoples around them and this could be their family this could be their partners this could be their lovers this could be their friends this could be your classmates like you 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 could be some people experience bullied okay so this is what these people then they they are spiritually already and they just then they when they realize that they are different from other peoples they are unique they are different from other peoples that's come the awakening that they got understand that they are different then they start accepting themselves that they are different so first of all the people who are spirituals out there and if you are feeling like your 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 emotions your feelings are you know this is like the other people you share and they just make fun of it and they just tell you that this is the bullshit this is just story this is just a fantasy this is nothing you are believing on these things this is nothing matter the only matter thing is practicality the reality no so i don't know in the world if anybody believes you or not if you will come to me i will believe you trust me i will believe you and i will listen to you so you can say that i also um you know i just did master in my psychology so you can say that i'm also a psychologist because i don't know why um these things came up into my uh, you know things that i can read people very well just as i told already like i have a master degree in psychological okay psychologist so you can call me that i i even though i'm just empath i'm natural born uh, uh, you know i like i have a very strong sixth sense from the few from the childhood okay so i just was when i was in the i also i want to share that uh, people don't want to share it but i want to because now i feel like this is the time that i have to share this experience because people lot of people are going through you're not alone in this journey i experienced really toxic um, childhood uh, why because the surrounding around me the people's the family you know the family uh, the where i live because i be, i definitely live in a traditional families background because the people who are in asia continent they will understand especially india and pakistan okay so yeah the people are definitely wanted to know that a uh, lot of people uh, you know see that um, they feel like i'm from india but they yeah because we have the same accent like india and pakistan they have the same accent but i am from pakistan okay so um but uh, because this is also another question that people will raise that oh my god you're pakistan and you're just like what are you doing here on youtube and what are you doing with oh please shut this noisy noises okay i don't want to hear it i'm just a human like you i'm just a human i believe in humanity i don't i believe in humans and that's why i'm today here i don't care what your opinions are what your diplomatic or things are you know i don't believe in this hypocrisy i don't believe in politics i don't believe in these things okay i don't believe what media is showing what world is showing that what we are differences we have i don't believe in that mm -mm. my soul connection is really strong and my spirit is very strong more than these bullshits that people are talking are, and obviously the people who come to me and just they want to judge me and they want to your opinion does not matter i don't give a f to anyone who just put out the finger on me and tell me that who are you to i'm i'm who i am today okay this is the thing that just came up into my life to teach you people and to share my story to share my knowledge and share my wisdom and insight with these people okay today i have this um, you know how much followers i have it's not like what what where when i start the journey i did not realize that i will be there but people just come and come and come and we are becoming this family today this huge family and great family why because i don't want to speak the lie i just want to be honest with you even though if you uh if you're looking for guidance if you're looking for love your soulmate your twin i will not lie to you and tell you that oh my god you're going to meet this person because this is not the mission this is not my purpose you know I have to be honest with you. You like it or not, I have to say it, right? This is what my mission is. So anybody can come to me, anybody can approach me, anybody can whatever your gender is, whatever your age is, whatever your religion is does not matter. I am a human and I believe in humanity. That's it. I believe in spirit. I believe in God.
we all have one God. We are humans on the earth that we definitely created by. We are all created by one God. That's what I believe. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So yes, that's what I believe. This is reality, right? Nobody can ignore this. We are all created by one God. But we're born in a different cultures, different religions, different families background, and what our upbringing up, bringings are, definitely we learn from that. That's what they call tradition. That's what called called society. Okay? That's what, you, uh, you know, people just want to mold you like what you are. No. So, um, definitely off the track. <laughs> but really, I wanted to show, share this. Now, I was talking about the soul peoples, the, the peoples who are on soul journey and they just gone through this all experience. So I was definitely, I was in a toxic, um, definitely background, like my family was, not my parents, sorry, not my parents, but my family, you know, the um, from my father's side and also from my mother's side. Like there was a toxic people, you know, the haters and their things and the manipulative, the devil energy, I just saw that. The peoples who are very controlling, narcissistic, they just want to say that, yes, 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 you have to say yes, yes to us and you can't say no. So that's where the, you know, things come up, okay? So yes, um, you can say that I also have mother issues, like I was gone through this process, that's why I could be experienced this, this, this very toxic relationships. You can say that unrequited, not toxic, because I never been in an official relationship with someone, but this could be just a fling, or this could be just unrequited love situations. So yeah, you will be very surprising when you will see me today, like I gone through this. Yes, I gone through this, I admit this, I accept this. And today where I am, I can say that, 1000% say that, I don't need anyone right this is my journey today and you can feel this vibe you can see that that people are just asking i don't need anyone i'm on my spiritual journey i'm out on my i'm just complete my within self okay even though i'm i told you experience that you can call that this is my twin flame our soulmate definitely we have so i have this soul connection with someone that i never experienced and that person came up into my life why because i the, the traumas the experience that i gone through in the past from my childhood the things that i was carrying and repressing the emotions of fears uh, you know, of uh, feeling trapped, okay, that narcissistic energies came up into my life. That was the purpose of this connection to came up into my life, to teach me how to love myself, to teach me my worth, my value, to stand up for my beliefs. I can't say yes, yes, yes to someone when I say I want to say no, right? I can't say someone, you know, like no when I, I want to say yes. This is what your reality is. You need to accept yourself, what you are. That's what my, uh, you know, the purpose of this reading and purpose of my, you know, soul journey and the people who come towards me, even though if you're in twin flame or soulmate connection, I want to tell you that you need to accept yourself first, whatever you are. You need to love yourself. You need to love your flaws. You need to love your imperfectionist. You know, you are not perfectionist. You can't be perfectionist. Nobody is perfect. Let me tell you, nobody is perfect. The people who portray that they are perfect, they have this imperfectionist in them that only those people knows that they live with. Okay, they show this the world and this media, these peoples on on social media. This is also uh, they are trying to show you that we are perfect. They are not. You don't know what's going on in their in their mind. You don't know what's going on in their real life. And a lot of people, you see that, you know, unexpectedly and suddenly they just admit and express it, that they're tired of this wearing the mask, that they're happy, they're good. They're going through depression. They're going through very dark periods and they just, they just want to get out. Some people admit it and some people don't because they are too much weak that people will judge us. So I am here to support those people and my channel is definitely that, that I really want to help people and guide people and you, I just want to get, you know, just, just want, to, want to pull you from that darkness that you are living in. This is, a, this is a lie that you're living in, your shadow side. That's what these connections are coming into your life to teach you how to heal yourself, how to accept yourself, how to heal your wounds and how to stand up in the mirror and tell you that, I am me. This is me. Or and 
also when you are into you know this soulmates connection why soulmates came up why this twin flames came up into your life why this soul connection you feel with people because they come up into your life to teach you yin and yang energy it's not like you are you are divine masculine and you're going to meet your divine feminine yes it is because you are if you have a really masculine energy you put the mask of a masculine showing the world that you are okay you're you, you don't have any pain you don't you don't care what people are thinking what people are seeing because you want to show the people that you are divine masculine right you can you can handle everything even though you can't even though if you're a female you still have this energy in yourself of masculine you want to show people that you are strong you're you're fine but at the end you know in the in reality you're feeling deep down that like you're crying and nobody's there to watch you to listen to you and that's where the trauma start because you're repressing your emotions your real your real genuine emotions you're repressing and that's how when the someone come into you and the feminine energy you you are not your love your nurture your care you know does not have to be what your gender is you know you have this feminine energy and you're really nurturing your kind you're sensitive with the energies with the people around you and they just took advantage of to give it taking 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 and not giving you back because you are made of love you want to give you want to help you want to you want to share but they just take advantage of you you know and especially the feminine energies are here they you know they are the targeted of narcissistic people around you they are because they are sensitive by born or some people are just you know without when they are going through these experiences there some incident happen in your life then you become this feminine around you like you 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 just feel something and you can't see someone crying you saw a lot of people every day right when there is something happening these, these people can't hold their their tears because they can feel the other person pain right they can feel the other person pain that what they are going through so this is what this is like your feminine my feminine you're not weak you're not weak your emotions and your feelings are your strength use use this power as your strength that's what my mission is that's what i i really want to tell my people and my clients and everyone around me and that's what i told i want to discuss and i you know i'm talking about in english and i'm also talk my another channel on urdu and hindi as much as i can help other people this with this free readings okay even people come to me for this uh, you know they buy and purchase the reading i give them this you need to stand in your power you're not weak you need to accept just yourself as you are and yes these when when you are too much feminine you met your divine masculine why they came up into your life to teach you how to stand up how to protect your energy and when you are too much masculine this feminine came up into your life to tell you please let down your guard you can trust me you can trust me just let out, let down your guards and just just trust me we are one that's what the yin and yang is like so you have the, that the masculine have a difficult time to trust you know the feminine because they don't want to hurt because they already repress their own feelings for a childhood that could be from adulthood they because the experience is toxic uh, toxic and um relationships they experience this 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 betrayal this cheating so they 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 don't trust people easily that's why divine masculine run away from this in, intensity of you know the feelings why because the yin and yang you are the mirrors even though if you're a soulmate or twin flame i don't i'm not talking about here so if you want to call here that that's what when you see the a lot of signs you know you know what what is this here that you know the masculine just came up you know then it's came up that that's what i was talking about that you that this this started masculine and this started feminine i'm talking about here when you come and meet each other this when you encounter each other you see someone like a mirror of you the things that you are repressing in yourself you see in the other person that started masculine right they see the feminine in the other person like you know the the person is saying the finally this person is saying no why she came up into my life she can she can expose me and i don't want to expose i'm i just want to be strong so there that's the run away because this is like they're seeing you the, they're seeing the real self in you and this is how it happened with the distorted feminine you know she chased the masculine you know this is what happened because there is something because there's a difference between the divine feminine and the distorted feminine you can see by the pictures too what is the difference here the distorted feminine is the chaser runner narcissistic you know wearing the masks this could be there this is like 
this is what your trauma starts this is what your test start here this is what you have where you have to do healing you need to and you need to point out point out and pinch out wherever your mistake is and that's really difficult that's why the people approach to you know the professionals therapist and everything that they they can't handle it some people's i'm not against of it because the recently i did the reading and people will say no you can't say it that we don't want to go uh, we should not go to therapist and we should not go to professionals i'm not against of anyone i did not say it when i said that that you can't go to i'm talking about those people that they can if something is in your control and you can do it by yourself then you can do it but if you feel like something is out of your control and you've gone through a very toxic and abusive relationship and you feel like this is not this is not your control you can't control it you can't you can't do any stuff for you by yourself then you approach to therapist and professionals right and you need it you need meditation proper meditation professional meditation but if you know that and you pinch out your your problems and you stop running away and you finally accept that wherever your problem is wherever your wounds are you will stop running away and you will become in this divine feminine this feminine you accept yourself your flaws your your beauty your skills your abilities your your beauty your fat what happened don't care your your skinny does not care I know I do not match up and fit up in the society rules and things but I I still love me. This is what you the the perfect that you want the divine feminine the distorted feminine is like no she just she just want to be perfect in front of you she she will wear the mask. She will run away. She can't handle her own stuff. She can't handle her own situation. She can't make a decision. She's indecisive. No. The divine feminine is the this is the very biggest sign of, you know, the great sign in the divine feminine is when she is in the power like she can handle it. She can she can create her own abundance. Look at this how abundant she is. She's connecting with the divine, her power, her femininity, her sexuality, her emotions, her feelings with this uh, spirit here, you know? She understand what she is. She know her value, she know her worth. She's not chasing anyone. she's just doing her own things she understand her you know purpose she understand that she is worthy of love she don't need anyone's approval to love her and to tell her that what you are because she already know what what she is and now we talk about the distorted masculine and the masculine that's what it is this masculine will run away from you this 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 masculine will definitely a runner a chaser whatever you want to call they could also go through a lot of experience in their life they always they always want to you know repress their feelings they don't want to show up they want to be a masculine they want to be you know the perfect they want to be the one they want to be a provider this could be their issues this could be their emotional disorders this could be something they gone through anxiety depression this could be their mental problems this mental health you know So this is what the distorted masculine is, and what is the divine masculine? Mm mm. You can see the energy here. The person who is, you know, whatever, your male or female, whoever this divine masculine is coming to, they when they are in their power. Oh God, this person knows what the wisdom is, what the knowledge is. He knows what he wants. He knows what he's looking for. he's very clear about his mission his purpose that the, the he's the, he has a courage of a, like a lion you know bold enough being courageous that he can do anything whatever he wants to do nobody can you know nobody can tell him what he has to do and nobody can dictate him because he's he's the you know he's the owner of his own life he's the boss of his life and she's the boss she's the princess she's the goddess she know that this is what the energy is talking about here when you know your worth so stop running away from yourself my dears my dear men or my dear women stop running away from yourself accept yourself and know wherever your mistake is what are you doing and what are you doing wrong because some people we are some type in the narcissistic energy that we don't want to accept it that we are wrong some people have this tendency okay like they don't want to accept that they're wrong they they're saying i'm right you some people are controlling i don't want to use the word narcissistic for you because it will take you you will be like be get offensive like what is she talking about it's like you have control issues like you you want to dominate you want to control even though you're feminine or masculine you want to control you want to you want to you know you want to shape the um, relationship you want to shape everything by yourself 
No. In when you are together, this is like the, when, when we meet our soulmates and when we are come together, it's like spiritual maturity. Together. We are team. We will understand each other. We will compromise. We will balance things out. But if you are dealing with someone who is saying, no, 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 no. Me, 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 me. You say to yes to me. You say you say only yes to me. You said bend to me. Bend your knees on me. Because I'm saying this. No, this these peoples are not your true divine masculine or feminine. They are definitely your distorted masculine and they are your distorted feminine. They can bully you. They can abuse you emotionally, physically, mentally. They can put you in, in like you will be. You could be, they could be, you know, they could hurt you this much that in the name of love, in the name of things, <clears throat> excuse me, you see, you think that this is your soulmate, this is your true, true love. No, it's not. This is not. This is not love. This is not unconditional love because the purpose and the mission and center of this reading is unconditional love with yourself and with them because you are the mirrors of each other. When you accept yourself, what you are, you accept and unconditionally love each other your flaws you don't want to change the person they will change by themselves because when you come together definitely in the spiritual connections or things this is when you are distorted nobody's perfect mm -mm. did you hear someone that they come always like a perfect match they are always perfect no when you come into this union you you just you have to shed your old patterns you need to transform major transformation and this that spring the spirituality spiritual maturity in you that what the life purpose is that's what the purpose of this mission is that's what the purpose of this uh, relationship is and a lot of you can see that people you know they when they come into union like you know the divine masculine or feminine twin flame soulmates they come they, they did this work by themselves and the most important thing here is that you need to give each other space come on Oh my God, now this is the weakest point. I just got frustrated when just, uh, you know, people and clients come to me and they're just like, when, oh my God, my twin flame is not talking, soulmate is not talking to me, one month, one day, one week. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please give them space to breathe, to understand what this connection is. You are chasing, you are chasing, you are chasing, you are running after them and they are not understanding what is this. This is like you are also distorted. You are in this phase. So you need to judge by yourself wherever your stand is, wherever you are in your journey. If you are ch chasing them, you are running after them, they are also in a distorted. You both are in a distorted masculine and feminine energy. You are not giving each other spirit and space. You're not giving each other space because everything will be happen on the perfect timing. That's what the God, um, that's what the God tell about it. Let go, give space each other, please. Let them let, and if you believe, let them go. You need to believe on them. Trust that. It means that you're not trusting yourself. That's where the traumas came up. Your insecurities, your fears. You feel like they will definitely will leave you. And meditation brings answers. Yes, only meditation. Whatever meditation you take for yourself. I, always, I already discussed in my previous reading that what you have to do here. Okay? Just let go. Don't wait for them. It's not like you are not loving them. It means you're giving them space and let do your own work. You need, to, you need to heal yourself too. You're too much busy thinking about your divine masculine or feminine that you're not putting the work on yourself. Why? Because this purpose of these soul connections and relationships and love is being unconditional and conditionally love within yourself. You need to know your value. When you see yourself in the mirror, you say, this is me. Yes, this is what your victory is. This is what your success is. So you can say that I'm in the phase of like, I'm in my self-life position, like I'm, I'm, I'm in, the, in this journey, I'm in that place that I am, I'm me, I accepted myself. That's where you can see, this is what the glow is, this is what you can say the Empress power is. You know, you know that what you are, you're spiritually grown, you're mature, you understand. You're accepting. You're accepting. It's okay. It's fine if my divine masculine is not with me. Because they are, you could be the divine feminine and you come into your power. You, you just do the work continuously, meditations and everything that you're doing. 
and but they are not doing it because they you could be opposite like some people are definitely they could be they could be turn narcissistic or toxic people that's why they can't work on themselves properly but you can do it because feminine i feel that are strongly um you know 80% of the feminine they come up into their power first they awaken first they realize first they work on themselves first they know their worth first because the masculine is still there because they have to deal with a lot of things in reality because they have to repress their feelings they they have to run away you need to forgive this is what the connection is talking about this mission is of this this connections is to forgive people who hurt you who just bring these traumas in your life this is what the mission is when you forgive everyone and you don't care you are emotional freedom this is like you're free from every toxic emotion in you there is nothing that you are not worried about your when you're living in the past and you're worried about the future you never will be happy let me tell you one thing here so when you're living in the past you're carrying that emotional baggage that you need to release you need to forgive that's what the mission is that's what the purpose is but that's when when you come together and let me tell you only two people who are spiritual come into union come into you know nobody will nobody's you know why readers talk about that not everyone is on the spiritual journey not everyone is your soulmate or twin flame why because some people are practical they don't believe in these things as i already you know mentioned in my reading because you will always come into union with the person who is willing to work with you who is also spiritual like you even though they are not you know showing it that they are spiritual they could have a very innocent heart they could be spiritual by heart they could be they have this tendency but if you're dealing with a narcissistic and you're telling me that you're twin flame and soulmate and that person is not you know drinking every day and you know spending the night with every woman and they're just doing sexually they're bringing you know they're sleeping with other women or men you know you're masculine or feminine and you're telling me that they're your because you are doing your own work they're not doing it they're still there in their distorted masculine or feminine energy they need to do their own work you are not responsible for their actions you're not responsible for what they're doing you need to do that's why you met this person you need to do your own stuff if you are awakened you need to do your own stuff this is not easy this is not like you are just you know you're just feeling the love no this is not the life purpose this is very very toxic yeah because this will trigger you this will shake your basics this will shake your body this will shake your mind this will shake your heart this will shake your tradition this will shake your every belief that you believe in everything this is not easy if i am today talking with you you can what you can say that i'm just gone into you yeah, just you know like i just experienced a love and that's that's it i did nothing i gone through hell i gone through hell i gone through very dark night of my life very dark night of a soul i gone through depression anxiety worried about future worried about my past you can't imagine i could i could not sleep i could not sleep you can't imagine where what i gone through because i was awakened first because my traumas my and i accept it because i gone through this this is my all wounds that came up all at once to meeting this person and you know, i always like oh my god every day is a tower moment for me every day is like i want to you know i want oh my god i want to get this person i will leave this person i will i i, I don't have a hold on this person this person is not like with me this person is not like putting the label on me like we we don't have any official connection we don't have any a label on it what people will call us what for the society i will lose him i will this is yes this is everyone gone through that i'm a just human like you my story is not different from you but today if i am here to talking and sharing with you because of my own experience why i'm telling you because only you can do this thing only you can you know bring yourself from a dark to light only you if you will work on this you don't have any you know you can just pray the people are asking me how to send you know prayer to our our feminine or masculine you can only pray for them you know you can send the energies to them telepathically you know you can pray to god when you are doing meditation when you are praying yourself you can also pray to where your divine masculine or god like please help god okay you know proper prayer whatever you do proper meditation when you are doing you can you can ask the help from angels to you know help your divine masculine or feminine to understand to stop running and to work on themselves 
this is what you can do you can't go and you know you know give them tablet and tell me that this is me accept me you know love me be with me no they will not and the more you will run the more you will chase them they will not come towards you so give them space be absent from their life be absent totally completely be absent from their life to let them know if they they miss you they love you they have feelings they will feel it if they're not they're not they're not your twin flame they're not your soulmate because the soul connections is there this should this should be on a both sides but it could be sometime this could be on a one side i'm not judging anyone if you have a one sided story it's mean that still it's mean that this is talking about that you have your own mission you have your own purpose stop running toward that person because a lot of people you know experience the one sided love energy one sided experience and they feel like my other person my feminine or masculine is not even you know they are not even participating with me they are not even there with me why because you need to know that this this is all if you are awakened already it's mean that your mission is start your test is start your healing is started stop running away towards them and stop you know just put the work on yourself whatever you have to do you have to meditate you have to heal these traumas this trigger will come into your life this is insecurities this fears this deception definitely it will come you need to find inner peace you 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 need to find your own inner peace and let this person go give them give them space i'm not talking about that you can't even you can't unlove them you can't you can't i'm not talking about that you don't have love you have love you you can't unlove them you have this love unconditional love for them but what i'm telling here is that you need to find your own inner peace when you forget yourself you don't make your you know uh, healthy boundaries for yourself okay and you don't know what your self respect is and you keep giving 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 uh uh you are on the mistake you know so this is what i'm talking about here okay where is that card i have to show you yeah boundaries so where you have to make the boundaries and self respect yes stop running stop chasing be give give them time to mature up and also be mature yourself you you don't know everything you also need to learn you also need to heal you also need to prosper we have the sacred woman she is the woman she knows her value she knows her heart her, her heart chakra is open it's all chakras are open but at the same time she is the sacred woman now you become the sacred woman because you did your own work when you are in this power in this energy now let them come towards you because you are now the sacred woman you understand what you you are our women are men what you are you come into this sacred you understand your boundaries your worth your value you're becoming mature you're finding your all inner peace you're emotionally freeing yourself you're forgiving everyone even forgiving this person you know your worth you're coming in your sacred woman you are definitely coming into your divine feminine or masculine power when you're doing our stuff when you are in this energy then there the connection start and you come into dating and you create this compatibility together this relationship together because now you can manifest what you are looking for you know these all things are now when then you get the commitment you know yes this is when you are single doing this all thing and you are awaken give them space give them time to to do this stuff if they're not this is what you are then now you are in this your own power that you can manifest anyone or anything because you are in your power now honey you know your value some of you when uh, i also see a lot of feminine or masculine when they come in this power they left their twin flame they they because now you you are the you <laughs> finally this is you real you genuine you right because now this is you your true self who you are but your purpose is because you gone through this all experience you gone through this all story history and now you are the creator of your own life right in this position this is now where you manifest your divine masculine they have to come in this power too to be with you but if they are not it's mean the it's mean the race is not there you are the winner they're still there so it's up to you now when you some people come you know that's where the commitment start that's where the you create the wonder for the world and people see it when you come into your union 
you start dating and you create this abundance and for other people to help other people because then you start this connection. Then you start this connection and commitment and come into this intimacy and you, you become the one because you just put the boundary. You are now in this luminosity. You know your value. You know you, you, you're a loved one. You, you can be with someone. You can be anyone. You can be with anyone. Why? Or anyone only who is, you know, in your power, like you in your power, because now you are the empress and you're looking for only emperor, divine masculine, right? Because you know that now what you want, your value, your self-worth, you will never, ever settle down for less when you are become in this power. Show me that any powerful, any independent, confident, and this in power woman, you know, dealing with the narcissistic peoples or dealing with some immature people. No, she will not. She will not. Even though he will not, if divine masculine is came up, he will not, even though you can see the lot of masculines on the YouTube or, you know, wherever they are, they stop. They stop dating because they, they, they finally come into their power. They realized this is bullshit. This is just a time pass. This is just like, they are not looking for that. This intimacy or just, just a casual connection or relationships. Because they healed themselves, that divine masculines and the divine feminists. They finally reached the peak of their own true self. This is real you. You know your flaws. You know your everything. Even though you work on your flaws, you're not, you know, you're trying to heal. You're trying to accept. And you also accept other person as it is. When commitment and come union happen, when you come into your power. And then this creativity start of universe. And this is like when the miracle happen, when the things will come into your yourself. And always, always listen to your intuition in this connection. Never believe on anyone else. And even, and even never believe on me, what I'm telling you. Listen only to your intuitions. Only you can know that what your connection is. If you are being very fair or judgmental on your disconnection. You know that. If you will be fair with disconnection, you know that. If you're dealing with narcissistic or distorted masculine or feminine, or if you're dealing with the proper, you know your better self. Listen to your intuitions. They will always tell you. They will always definitely give you a green signal or a red signal. And they will always, universe always sh show you a, for a sign. They will always show you. I always, you know, whenever I met this person and I am in this power, I'm continuously, you can't believe it, I continuously seeing 11-11. I'm continuously seeing a sign, synchronicities. I mean, symbols, doves, butterflies. I saw this person in my dream even. I was just asking that. I was confused because this connection did not came up in 3D in reality. But I am in my this energy now. I can manifest. I can be there, okay? But that person that I'm dealing with, I was, uh, I was dealing with for a long time, that person is still there. They are, they're working on themselves. They're working. I, I just give this person a space. I stop running. I stop chasing. I stop con con you know, contacting him. I just make myself absent from that person's life so he can realize what is this. And let me tell you, he's going crazy. And he's transformed totally. I can see it. But I'm in this position right now. And he is coming in this position. I know. I don't know what will happen in the future because nobody knows. But I always trust my intuitions. I always saw the sign. I saw this person in my dream continuously. I saw a lot of synchronicities. I'll always. I saw this person name everywhere. I saw this person every reading, even though I watch on YouTube or, you know, other readers or something like that, that told me that this is my twin flame. This is my soulmate. But I, I know, I trust my intuition that, yes, I have a soul connection. But this, this is not the life purpose. This is not a purpose that, okay, fine, I am this here and I feel here. So now what? Just come into union or something? No. We need to accept ourselves, we need to accept each other, compromise, space, understanding, love, respect. You know, that's where the union happened. That's where the union happened, right? So yes, that's what I wanted to share here. I hope you got the answers. I hope you, need, you know that how to manifest, how to come into union, how to be, deal with these people that you know your journey, you know wherever you stand right now, whatever your, this is life phase one, two, three, four, or you are almost there, there. So this is where the, you know, the happened union. There when, and never, are always trust on yourself, always trust on this union, okay? 
always trust. And then there come this, this uh, you know, then there this come this um, union, you know. You come into union. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that you've gone through because this connection, let me tell you what's waiting for. Because this is a divine. But if your person did not come towards you and they're still there and you still feel unrequited love by this person, this is not for you. Let me tell you. This is not for you. So you better know that this is only from your side. This was only your journey to heal yourself. Not every twin flame, not every soulmate connection, and not every soul connection is mean to be in union and they, don't, they, they may need to get married. No, this not. Some people came up into our life when we are married, when some twin flames are even met when they are married or they are with someone else. What happened is that this has also come up into our lives to trigger our, ourselves because you could be in a toxic relationship, toxic marriage, and then you met your twin flame or soulmate and you feel like, wow, now what should I do? This is what you have to do here to become in your power. Every relation, every soul connection, and even though it's not a connection, you are in just general in your soul journey. You know, when you deal with narcissistic people, when you bullied, when you, you, you gone through emotional disorder, when you gone through depression, anxiety, and you don't know where to go, what to do. This is where this, this, this spiritual journey is to tell you to come into your power. This is what every soul purpose is and every therapist, every psychologist, every person will tell you that please love yourself. You need to make a healthy boundary. You need to protect your energy. You need to protect yourself. This is what the every person mission is right if i'm wrong then tell me in the comments right so the, i'm not against of anyone i'm not saying that you you don't need a proper meditation you don't need any therapy you don't need any you know people are doing reiki okay they're they're opening the chakras everyone there have their own work and i really respect that because they're professional they're everyone even though they're starting they're doing some stuff okay i'm just a tarot reader but i am experienced in this so i know that i can share my experience i can i can tell with my experience right so you can agree you or you can disagree but the people who were you just got misunderstand me because i was not against of anyone the, the people who, that that person was just comment on me like that that you are a terror reader and you can't say that terror terror is a tool yes yes terror is a tool of guidance terror is a tool of telling you what is the energies what you can do they can tell you the direction but what you will do is definitely based on you and i always tell in my readings and in every reading even though my client clients came up for personal i tell them you are the one who will take action you are the one you will create your future because we create our own future we create our reality it's depend on us so you can't say or point out anyone, even though you can't point out your therapist, your professional doctor or meditator or psychologist or anyone that you did this wrong to me. No, you can't because until you will not do work on yourself, you will not put the work on yourself. They are telling you, you have to do right. You have to do by yourself. So this is all about you. This, this journey is about you. Your true love is you when you accept yourself. So stop running away from yourself. Accept it right now, wherever you are. But if you're having a difficult time to accept it, you definitely have some narcissistic energy in you that you can't accept it. You don't want to accept it. This is, I can understand. I can understand. You definitely in your ego trap. You definitely don't want to accept it. This is definitely where you need a professional help or guidance. Because I just tell you what the general thing is. Everybody gone through this. Everybody feel it. Everybody, nobody will tell you. Nobody. Everyone, you know, they will give you this reading by, you know, telling you the, they will take the prize from you. They will take the money and they will tell you the same thing that I am saying here today in our free reading. Because I know that a lot of peoples or huge peoples are here. This is like a gift from me to you guys to hear it. Watch it again and again what I'm talking about here. This is my own experience so I can tell it. And you can feel it by yourself. This is what your true love is. This is where you <clears throat> trust your intuition. This is what you trust yourself. Because you know your value. You know your worth. You know. You know. Just you know. Because you know this is nothing going to happen. Your intuitions are always there to teach you. But we are definitely repressing it. You're saying, no, no, no. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yes. So this is where the problem is. Start. Okay. So that's your reading. God bless you. I really hope it resonated, guys. Let me know in the comments how you love it or not. I really hope it's really helpful for you. Bye. God bless you all. See ya.